With cost of living pressures biting, the Treasurer is looking for more options, selling his latest pitch on how he's trying to help households on breakfast television. We are enthusiastic supporters of a decent minimum pay uh, increase for Australian low-paid workers. The government isn't putting a figure on how much wages should rise by, but in its submission to the Fair Work Commission, which makes the final decision, it's arguing for minimum and award wages to increase to keep pace with inflation. We don't want to see uh, workers on the lowest pay go backwards. Currently, the minimum wage is just over $882 a week for a full-time worker. If wages were to increase in line with inflation, which is about 4%, it would mean an extra $35 a week before tax. I know that those that are on the minimum wage would be grateful for anything that they can get, but the problem is if you have that minimum wage rise and there is still inflation out there, it's simply going to be eaten up. She was out there this morning criticising us, saying... The Labor government wants minimum wages to go higher as a cost of living measure. You bet we do. Yeah. Business groups fear the proposal goes too far. We would say that a number uh, of not greater than 2% uh, is the most that we could uh, justify. Arguing employers can't afford a significant wage rise and it could result in a tighter jobs market. We can't continue to pay hand over fist. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, wage outcomes in this country. Small business also need to make sure that their customers are buying from them, so the, these things work both ways. Some cost of living support is coming into place in July in the form of the revised Stage 3 tax cuts. However, the Treasurer is arguing that's not enough and he's urging the Fair Work Commission to approve a significant pay increase on top of the tax relief. Both would come into place from July and would be welcomed by workers and a government trying to soothe voter angst over hip pocket pressures. Stephanie Boris, ABC News, Canberra.